Trump is calling it the biggest night in fundraising of all time. The event raked in over $50 million, according to the RNC. That's nearly double what President Biden raised at a New York City fundraiser with former presidents Clinton and Obama. This was the first major fundraiser for Trump and the RNC since he became the party's presumptive presidential nominee. Trump said Americans want change. We're going to make America great again. Everyone knows it. The election's going to be in now a little more than six months, and it's going to be the most important, I believe, election we've ever had. I think it's going to go down as the most important date in the history of our country. High dollar donors paid anywhere from 200 dollars to $800,000 to be at the fundraiser with the former president and first lady. And there were some big names at the Palm Beach dinner, including Governor Doug Burgum, who has endorsed Trump. It wasn't just energizing, it was actually inspirational. Uh, being with all of these incredible job creators, people that have, uh, many people that started with nothing, they've lived the American dream, they've given back to their communities, they've created, created you know, countless jobs around our country, and, and they're concerned about the future under Joe Biden. The Biden campaign slammed Trump's high dollar donor strategy, saying it puts billionaires first. This campaign is Scranton versus Palm Beach. Real people who know the stakes of this election and are rolling up their sleeve to pitch in what they can. Some donations from the fundraiser will go to a political action committee that helps pay Trump's legal bills. His campaign says that PAC also covers other expenses. Saturday's fundraiser will help Trump close the gap with President Biden, who has a cash advantage over his opponent. Trump has more fundraisers this week, including one on Wednesday in Georgia. Meanwhile, President Biden has campaign events in Madison, Wisconsin and Chicago. In Palm Beach, Florida, Madison Scarpino, Fox News.